Hello and welcome to Goat Talk. I'm your host, Josiah Burnai, and today I brought with me my friend Jamie Sorrells. Yep. So to start off, let's talk about stats for each player. Now, the stats talk about a little different than the player's game because although LeBron, he leads uh, in numbers and most stats, and we'll, we'll get into that in a moment, but for points, uh, Jordan, he finished his career with 32,292. And LeBron has 37,392, and it's still counting. So, uh, you know, that's like LeBron has 5,000 more points than Jordan, and he's still playing. Yeah. For assists, Jordan, in his career, he had 5,633. And LeBron has almost double that with 10,125. And then uh, for steals... I always thought that Jordan was a better defensive player than LeBron. I feel like he hustled more. And Jordan has 2,514 steals. LeBron only has uh, 2,151. And then uh, rebounds, you know, obviously LeBron's, he's a bigger and taller player than Jordan. But I feel that uh, Jordan, he was more of an explosive player. And he came up with his career with 6,672. LeBron has 10,324. So uh, let's transition to how the players in the game, uh, they're different from both, from both eras. So Jordan played his NBA career in the late 80s and then the 90s. And uh, LeBron played in the 2000s up to the 2010s, and he's still playing now. So uh, the refs, they differed, in my opinion, from uh, like back then. I'd say that they weren't as lenient as they, as they are today. They called more... They, I'd say they called less fouls because, you know, there were more fights and stuff back then. And then, like, now, like, even a couple of weeks ago, I forget who, who I think he was on this, playing on the Suns, but all he did was just slap the ball and then he got a tech yeah. technical foul for that. And you just don't see that happen in today's game. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, as Josiah was saying, the game now is, like, the game now is, like, you do little things and you get called for it. And uh, one of the <clears> – <throat> one of the – they they started to reform the uh, how they ref the games and shooting shooting uh, fouls aren't going to be as called as much. But you still see shooting fouls called where players are they pump fake and then they jump into the player and they get a they get three shooting they get uh, three free throws for a shooting foul and it's just like I like that they're starting to reform that and um, yeah it just seems like the game's softer now. Yeah, it is. You know, like. How Jamie said, you can pump fake a ball, and then that player has no choice but to go block the shot because if he doesn't jump up and block, he'll get yelled at. And then that offensive player can then take advantage, and then he'll lean into him, and then he shoots. It's almost like a broken rule. Yeah. <clears throat> but uh, Jordan's teammates, um, I think that they, they had a different style than LeBron. So mainly in Jordan's era, when he was, during, when he was like in his prime, he played with Scottie Pippen and Dennis Rodman, and Dennis Rodman didn't even start playing basketball until he was 20-something, I think, and he would just, every single game, he would just go up and get assists. He was, he was Dennis Rodman was, like, one of the most all-time best hustlers, and Scottie Pippen was just LeBron's second man. Like, yeah, teammate. Or Jordan's second man, yeah. Like, if Jordan was having an off game or something, like, Scottie Pippen would always just be there to step up. Yeah, and uh, <clears throat> I was thinking, so Jordan – has Jordan has more um he has more championships and his record in championships is way better but you look at it when LeBron was well he went one for three against Steph Curry and the Warriors yeah uh you look at that Jordan was the super team and LeBron is playing against the super team so you're looking at if Jordan was playing for a less fortunate team in the finals going against say you know the super team Curry KD Iggy, it's like Draymond. Like you can't. It's really hard to compare. But yeah, you, you know, LeBron never really. Had really had that. He never had that super team like Jordan did. Yeah, I mean, LeBron had Kyrie and Jr. But yeah, it's not the same as you know, Scottie Pippen, yeah. Dennis Rodman, even Steve Kerr. Steve he Kerr's was six man. He would. He would. Yeah, he'd be the six man. He just gets subbed in, but he was always a good shooter. Yeah. <clears throat> so now we're going to discuss about, like, the championships of Jordan and LeBron. And although Jordan, he actually won back-to-back-to-back. To back to back. He won that twice. So he won championships. Out of the six championships he's won, he was, uh, he's won them in 91, 92, 93. And then 
96, 97, 98. So the cool thing about that is obviously he's won on back to back to back. And then I, I always think about it like imagine just going up against the team and then for three years straight they win it and they yeah. take a little two year pause and then they win it for three more again. And, and to add to that, the only re one of the only reasons that they didn't win it those two years is because Jordan's dad died. So he retired and took two years off for ninety four, ninety five. So who knows if you know, who knows if they would have won those two years if Jordan was there because obviously he's their star player. Right. So so they could have potentially won it for eight, eight years. years in a row, yeah. which would have dominated the nineties, which they did, but still those two years. Yeah. <clears throat> and uh <clears throat> LeBron's rings, you know, what's what's his record with rings? He's He's been to the finals. He's been like a lot. Like so I can't Le even count. <laughs> I think he's been there six times. No, to the finals? Oh, he's yeah. been to the finals like I don't know. He's been to the finals a lot though, but uh twelve and thirteen. What was that with the Heat? They almost won the three peat, but they lost to Tony Parker, uh Tim Duncan. You know, those guys were crazy. And Kawhi. And uh sixteen was that was the year. That was his prime. He came back, you know, he just dominated the game. He led the led the team. He had Kyrie too, but you know, for majority of uh that year Kyrie was out and he still dominated, but <clears throat> yeah, I just seventeen to eighteen, it was rough because that's when KD went there and he's just that's yeah, just KD too much. kinda joined the super team. Yeah, that's just too much. But twenty was the uh twenty was in the bubble and he had Anthony Davis with them and that was when Anthony Davis wasn't wasn't so fragile as he has been recently. He yeah, really I think good. I think people often kind of skip over and forget about the bubble championship when LeBron won it. They'll come up with excuses saying yeah. that it was easier. There, yeah, it was easier. There wasn't fans and stuff. But I think if anything, it was, it was harder to win a championship then yeah. than it was just in a regular. You don't have season. fans. You don't have that. You know, like when I play in front of fans, I definitely have a better mentality and I feel just better overall when I play in front of fans. And yeah, and I think the thing with Jordan. Um, when he played in the 90s, I think that the fans, it was just a better era with fans because, you know, nowadays they're always, you know, you do something good, you make a three, they love you, but then once you do something bad, they're so quick to turn and hate you. But yeah. I think just, you know, being a Bulls fan in the 90s, they just love you no matter what. So I, I think Jordan had the upper hand on that. Yeah, I agree. So uh, with all this information, who's, I think the better the better athlete, in my opinion, is Jordan. I just think, you know, he was just more explosive and um he he would even though he was shorter and smaller smaller than LeBron, the fact that he was able to put up almost the same amount of numbers and he was able to win a championship, you know, almost eight years in a row, but he won six out of those yeah. eight years. See, I think I think LeBron is better athletically because him coming out of high school and being six foot eight, two fifty, just carrying himself like that and just being able to dominate right out of high school and then um just the way he carries himself how he's he's just I don't know he's just so athletic and like people with that build and that that are that tall normally just can't move like that and they aren't that good at shooting or they're not good at just what LeBron was good at yeah all right well folks you heard both of our sides of the story thanks for tuning in and listening to Go Talk thanks to Jamie Sorrells for joining us and we'll catch you later yep see ya